Welcome to our poster project. Historical events. The Book of the Mark on Washington. The topic sentence of this book is the March on Washington was for equal rights. One example of this was some places would have a sign that would say no black people left. That is bad. Black people got sprayed with water when they came here. The March on Washington was about Martin Luther King Jr.'s speech and rights. Washington was for equal rights. Black people's life was unfair compared to white people's life. Fighting for equal rights. White people had better sinks than black people. It's hard to fit 7,000 people on a bus just to hear a speech. It was crowded. Ask where the location was. It was at Washington, D.C. On September 11, 2001 was when the Twin Towers got crashed into. They got crashed into by planes that were hijacked by terrorists. This happened in Manhattan, New York, 2001. It happened because a terrorist group called Al-Qaeda thought USA was making a Christian and Jewish alliance against Muslims. 3,000 people died plus the terrorists. Now since this event, airports have been more careful about who can get on the plane and what they can take. In the book, Hurricane Katrina, we read that Katrina was very devastating to people. It flooded streets and destroyed homes. In this storm, it affected Bahamas, Florida, Louisiana, and Texas. This big storm also harmed people's way of living and, ma and many people didn't come back. Katrina killed almost 2,000 people and others went missing. Hurricane Katrina had winds that were very deadly. The Superdome saved many lives, but it was only meant for disabled and special needs. In 2013, snow owls migrated farther south than they usually do. The reason they traveled south is because there was too much competition for food. So, Snowy has laid more eggs in 2013 than 2014 because there is more than is to feed the snowies and their babies. The reason there was more food was because the lemming population went up by a lot in this time. Another thing that happened in this event was a group called Project Snowstorm. They collected data about the snowy owls to track to see why they traveled so far south. Another thing they studied in the snowy owl project is the uh, owl's behavior. Famous people. Albert Einstein was a famous scientist. Albert Einstein was born on March 14th in Germany. Albert didn't speak a word until he was three or four years old. Albert liked the color yellow. He taught himself geometry. Albert became a professor after long years in college. Albert also enjoyed playing the violin. Albert was Jewish. Albert was kicked out of high school. You know all about Albert Einstein and he, and he liked science and math. As a young boy, one of Jesse Owens' favorite things to do was rap. Jesse Owens' family was poor. Because of that, his family moved to Cleveland, Ohio for a better paying job so that they could afford clothing and food. Back home, they had to grow all of their foods. 
Jesse Owens didn't go to school until he was nearly 10 years old. A couple years later, when Jesse was in high school, he started training with Coach Riley to improve on his running, hoping that later he would accomplish something great in life. Later on in Jesse Owens' life, he hoped to achieve many things. One of Jesse Owens' big life achievements was going to college. He attended at Ohio State University. Another big life achievement for Jesse Owens was making it to the Olympics. He was in the 1936 Berlin Olympics. He won four gold medals, three of them he set world records, and the other one he tied. Steve Irwin made history of being the person to teach people about animals and what they could do, and the safeties of being around them. Steve Irwin lived in Australia, and he got inspired by his father of helping the animals prevent suffering habitat destruction. Steve Irwin wanted to be remembered him because of his dad. Also, Steve Irwin donated $1 million to the charity Wildlife Warriors. And Steve opened a zoo to save the animals, which was pretty challenging. In conclusion, Steve Irwin taught the world to respect the animals. J.K. Rowling is a famous author worldwide. J.K. Rowling was born in 1965, Glockenshire, England. Rowling thought of Harry Potter while on a train trip. She knew that she wanted to write about him immediately. In that moment, she pulled out her notebook and started writing her first book called Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Life achievements about JK is Joe once went to a bedding area. At first, it was five figures, but then someone called Mr. Little brought it up to six figures. JK has three, three kids, a mansion, and a loving husband. K. Rowling had some challenges in her life. Her mother passed away while she was in her 20s, and it was a hard time for her in the moment, her in that moment. How JK Rowling became a famous author worldwide. A smart crow. You might think crows are boring, but these New Caledonian crows are a different story. They have been through many tests and puzzles and scored at a second grade level. Crows get their food by taking a Pandora's leaf and finding a spot in a grub. Then they find a long horn beetle to eat. New Caledonian crows live. New Caledonian crows live in New Caledonia in the forests of New Caledonia. These are smart birds because they can do lots of puzzles that kids can't. Isn't that interesting? So interesting! So interesting! So interesting! So interesting! So interesting. So That's it for us. Take, Take care. care.